Hey guys, exactly a year ago, November 8th, 2017 was when I shot my first video on a tool that absolutely changed my life. November 9th was when I uploaded my first video. Still not sure if I was doing the right thing because you see, I was so conscious about the way I looked and I was absolutely not photogenic. I was scared that I would look silly and people would laugh at me. The only thing that I was confident about is my story the message I want to give to people and hopefully change people's lives. So this is my anniversary issue. So today I want to reflect on my journey, say a lot of thank yous because I have a lot, of to, lot to be thankful for and share with you three very, very important things that I've learned in this past year. But before I get there, if you have been on my channel since day one, Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. I'm so humbled and so grateful that you're in my life. But if you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. I hope you find the videos here resourceful. Let me know what you think about them. So reflecting on my past year, I learned a lot of things. I learned how to shoot the videos. I've learned how to edit them properly. And I think I got better at it because I am now into precision editing and you wouldn't even know that because I'm so good at it. I've learned how to create thumbnails, how to post properly, how to take selfies. How do you be more creative with your, um, you know, all the lighting and everything. I've learned so much, including um, having better conversations with every one of you. While all these technical things are important, there are three things that I needed to give extra focus on because technical things are very, very easy to pick up, right? Because you know there's a certain process and you just have to follow it. What was so difficult or what was difficult for me was the other aspects. The first and the most important thing that I've learned was attitude. Yep, that's right. Social media can be really stressful, especially when you put in all the hard work and you do not get appreciated. So I had to learn to fix my attitude. Previously, every time I post a video, I used to check out like every 10 minutes if there's been a view or somebody's liking it. Why are the views more and no, not many likes? Why are people not commenting? Blah, blah, blah. I've done all that. And obviously that will stress you out. So I learned to fix my attitude here. I learned to understand the purpose of my channel. I learned to see the bigger picture. Why did I start this channel in the first place? So now every time I post a video, I will think of, uh, think of it like someday someone is going to need to listen to this message. So I am doing this for that particular person. I'm doing this for people who are or who tell me that I'm impacting their life. And I do not want to look at the number of views and how many comments have been there, etc. And I must say that this attitude shift gave me a lot of peace of mind. The second most important thing that I've learned is to be open-minded. When I started out, two of my friends used to help me refine my script. When I began collaborating with my friends, they brought in the fresh perspective on the same topic that I've been thinking and working on. I've learned that I needed to be open-minded and take this criticism constructively or even the point of use because I am looking at the greater good. When you remove yourself from the process and look at the process it's by itself, then I think it's an amazing thing because so many people are contributing to your uh, you know, journey. There's also a lot of you who have been giving me feedback suggestions of on topics that I can work on, ideas for my background, helping me understand the lighting issues, the sound issues, and of course my appearance. I've been taking all these positively and trying to mend wherever possible. For example, in a couple of my videos, you guys have noticed that my specs were loose and I kept pushing it up. So I took cognizant of this and I got it repaired. So this is not falling anymore, it's tight. So the bottom line is that I listened to all of you. Thank you so very much for giving me your inputs. I think I have improved a lot. I know I have miles to go, but I'm getting there. The third important thing that I've learned is to strategize. When your goal is to be consistent, you need 
proper planning to do because even with the video making there's a lot of things that go into it you need to understand the topic that you're going to talk about by the script if required you need to check out the lighting you need to check out what is the kind of attire i'm wearing time of the day when i need to shoot because i am depending on the natural light here like you see there's a window right next to me so there's a lot of things that go into making this five minute or a 10 minute video and if you don't have a proper plan in place it can be really messed up not just that, uh, once you publish the video, you need to get the message out to your friends. I know YouTube gives you a notification if you're a subscriber, but there's also a lot of people who are watching my channel but are not subscribed to me, which is the reason why I leave the messages again and again that please subscribe to my channel. So uh, the message, messaging needs to get out there and I need to post it uh, you know, I post it in uh, WhatsApp to everybody so that they can, it's convenient for them to just click on a link and read it in the chat message. I also needed to send it across to uh, other social media platforms like uh, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And the messaging that I need to give there should be consistent with the video that is coming out, not just on that day, but the build up that is needed for the video. So you see, there's a lot of work that's going on in just creating five minute video. Um, because the whole idea is not just about publishing the video. The video, the YouTube video, what you're watching is just a conversation startup. So I have learned to strategize it ahead, plan my videos, plan videos in bulk. For example, I created a mindfulness video for an entire month uh, where everything else is connected to mindfulness. And I created a parenting uh, series where all, almost uh, eight videos were connected to parenting topic. You know that I travel, I, I go on vacations with my family. So if I know that I'm not going to be there, I can shoot ahead and upload my, uh, you know, schedule, upload my videos. Without proper strategy, you can just mess it all up. So strategizing is something that I've refined over a period of time to the precise point. So there's less a headache when actual shoot happens. So those are the three lessons I've learned to fix my attitude, to be open-minded uh, about receiving all the criticism and feedback and suggestions that I've been getting. And of course, to plan my videos properly so that I am at less stress. I'm not saying I perfected them all because I continue to make mistakes, but I look at it like it's a wonderful journey that I'm embarking, that I've begun and I have miles to go. And with your support, I'm sure I'll get there. So I'll say it one more time. Thank you so very much for being part of my journey and supporting me all the while. And if you haven't done it already, given me any kind of support, you can do that by liking this video and of course, subscribing to my channel. I'd like to leave you today with this positive quote that is there on my wall. So it's actually the writing on my wall. It says, it's supposed to be hard and hard is what makes it great. Have a wonderful time. I'll see you next week.